Welcome to the Fox One Corp series of training videos. I'm Dave Springford. Please visit me online at www.fox1corp.com for all your glider supplies. In the waypoint mode, if we press on the lower knob, we come up with the short menu. And here we can change things like the McCready setting. So right now set to zero. And if I increase this, you can see the blue indicator is increasing as well as our numerical value in the middle. So if I set my McCready to 4, I always have that blue indicator on the Vario scale, giving me a visual indication of what McCready value I have set. There are two other indicators down here buried behind the needle. There is a red diamond. That red diamond can be set such that it shows you the 20-second the average in the thermal. And then just behind it, you can make out a green line right on the edge. That's a T a green T, and that shows you the thermal average. So with just a glance, you can see, are you climbing better than the thermal average or worse than the thermal average? Is the red diamond above or below the green? If it's above, that's good. If it's below, you're milking the thermal at the top and it's time to leave. It also shows with respect to the blue triangle, if you set your McCready to four and your thermal average and your window average are down at two, then your McCready is too high. So obviously you want your achieved climb rate to match fairly closely to your selected McCready value. Within that short menu, the MC slash BAL is McCready and Ballast. So besides setting McCready, we can press once we get McCready, we press a second time we get Ballast. Rotating the knob clockwise allows us to increase the value. And in this computer I have the load set, so it's setting the wing loading based on how much water I have loaded. So I have wing load. And then one more thing that we get to is bugs within that McCready and ballast. So there are three things. McCready, press again, we get ballast. Press again, we get bugs. Press again, we go back to McCready. You can access those three functions through the short menu. One other menu item that I'll take a look at here very quickly is the wind. If we select that. We can see wind calculation is enabled. It will give us a box that gives us the wind speed and the wind direction so we can get quick numerical values on that menu. Within the short menu, one other thing to point out is that at the top here, it shows the top button is close and the bottom button is select. So for example, if I go to select, I can use the down button to move into that menu. And now I can scroll through as we did before. We'll back out using the middle button. If I go to McCready and Ballast, we can see that the bottom button allows us to automatically set our McCready to zero. So we'll set that back up to four, and we can see the top button will give us close, the bottom button will give us zero, instantly. If we now go to ballast, again, at the bottom, there's an empty. We have it set to 44. I can press the bottom button for empty, and it takes us back to our empty 30 kilogram per meter squared. And finally, within bugs, we can press the bottom button to go clean. If we had 20% bugs or something like that set in, we could press that bottom button for clean and go automatically back to zero. Hopefully you've learned something about the S-Series of Varios today. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comments section below or send me an email. And visit me online at www.fox1corp.com.